Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new tutorial. Uh, this is how to have Home Assistant uh, reboot your computer. This is a uh, video that's going to show you how to uh, basically set up a script in Home Assistant that will reboot a remote computer. It's pretty cool. If you're having issues with the machine and you want to uh, be able to reboot it, but you don't have to get up and go down there and do it, you can just uh, push a button in Home Assistant, you know, for a script. And obviously it will restart that computer for you. This video is on how to reboot a computer that is Linux. Um, it's pretty much going to be the same for Windows and Mac. Um, there will be some minor differences on how you have to kind of set that up. So um, if that's something you guys would like to see on a Mac or Windows machine, let me know. And I'll see if I can't do a video on those as well. Let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. All right, so we have to start by uh, generating an SSH key on our Home Assistant server. Uh, you may have already done that. If you have, because you're using SSH keys for something else, then you can kind of skip past the step. Otherwise, we'll do a quick run through of how to do that. Next, we need to copy our newly generated SSH key to the remote machine, the machine that we want to reboot. Uh, once we uh, do that, then another thing we need to do on that remote machine is we need to set it up to uh, allow you to do sudo without typing in a password. This will allow Home Assistant to run the script and not get prompted uh, to type in a password or anything like that. Once we're done with that, we're going to add a shell command into Home Assistant. After that, we're going to create our test script that we're going to use with that shell command uh, to reboot the computer. And then, of course, lastly, um, I'm going to show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so like I said, for starters, we're gonna generate our SSH key um, on our Home Assistant server. Uh, this is great if you wanna be able to use it to remote into other machines without having to type a password every time. Uh, so uh, I'll put this in the description below, but basically we're gonna do an SSH-keygen-t uh, rsa-c and then of course put in the email address that's basically just for you to keep track of uh, your different keys if you have more than one you certainly don't have to type in the dash c with an email address let that generate you can enter in a passphrase if you want i'm going to choose not to all right looks like it's finished All right, so now we are ready to copy that SSH key to the uh, computer that we want to be able to reboot. Now, I just recently set up a uh, test Linux box that I'm using for Node-RED, so that's where I'm going to use it for this uh, tutorial. So we'll use an SSH-copy-ID, and then, of course, the username and, uh, at IP address or host name that you're going to be uh, remoting into. Type in the password for that username. All right, so it has copied the SSH key into the new machine and we should be good to go. Now we can test it by just trying to SSH into that box. And as you can see, it went right in, didn't prompt me for a password, so everything looks like it's working good so far. All right, now while we're on that remote machine, we need to set it up so that whenever we type a sudo command, it's not gonna ask us for a password. This will allow us to be able to run those commands remotely from Home Assistant and not get hung up by uh, having to type in a password. So we'll do a sudo, vi sudo. And I'm just gonna scroll down to a section uh, underneath sudo here. All right, so we're going to start out with my username that I'm going to be using, which is uh, Adrian. And we're going to say all equals parentheses all no P-A-S-S-W-D colon all. And I'll put that in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Go ahead and save that. Make sure whenever you're saving it and it asks you if you want to overwrite, 
say yes. Make sure that you overwrite just the sudoers file, not sudoers.temp. All right, now we should be able to run a sudo command without being prompted for a password. So let's move back over to our Home Assistant box, and now we are going to set up a shell command to issue our SSH reboot. So I'm just going to call this reboot test. My command is going to be ssh l, put my username Adrian, the IP address of that remote machine that I want to reboot, and then in parentheses I'm going to type in the command sudo reboot. Like I said, this was for a Linux box. So uh, the command and everything would be a little bit different if you're doing it for a Windows or a Mac. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know in the comments and I'll put another video together for you guys. All right, so let's just create a test script that we could use with this shell command uh, for the sake of this video at least and to show you how it works. Obviously, once uh, you see how it works, you can use it with an automation if you want, or anything for that matter. So I'm gonna edit my uh, test scripts uh, YAML file that I have. I'm gonna find an open spot down here at the bottom. Again, I'm just gonna call it reboot underscore test. Um, the alias will be, uh, we'll just say reboot test script sequence all right now my service this is a little bit different for shell command so it's actually going to be the name of that shell command shell underscore command dot reboot underscore test all right we're going to go ahead and save that and of course let's go ahead and restart home assistant for all these new changes to take effect Give that a second to come back up. All right, so let's see what that looks like in action. So basically I'm gonna start a ping going to that um, remote computer that I'm trying to reboot. We'll get that started here. And as you can see, there's my reboot test script that I set up, we'll say activate. And give it a second and look, see it's already taking it down. And that's a VM, so it should come back up pretty quickly. So let's see here. And there it is, it has already come back online. So it rebooted, everything came back up. All done from a script within Home Assistant. That's the end of the video, guys. If you wanna see this set up to reboot a Mac or Windows machine, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to get something put together for you guys. Uh, let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course we started by generating SSH keys on our Home Assistant box. Uh, once we did that, we copied those SSH keys over to the remote machine that we wanted to reboot. Uh, after we did that, we just needed to make sure that we set up the remote machine so that sudo did not require a password. <clears throat> after that was done, then we uh, created a shell command in uh, on our Home Assistant config. And then we created a test script to use with our shell command. And then, of course, lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. Again, guys, that's the end of the video. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Thanks a lot.